The Williamson County community is mourning the loss of a Brentwood High School student. Police say the 17 year old died after his motorcycle crashed into a Jeep. News 4's Joylin Bukovac talked to people in the community who say everyone is leaning on each other at this time. People who were in the area when the crash happened tell me their hearts sank when they heard all of the police sirens heading their way. You feel for those families because their whole life is going to change tonight. Just before 8 o'clock Saturday night, a motorcycle collided with the Jeep at the intersection of Franklin Road and Murray Lane. Police say the 17 year old who was driving the motorcycle died at the hospital. Ashley Salguero lives down the street from where the crash happened. Never experienced anything like that before. She says it was alarming to hear that many police cars go zooming by. It was not, you know, a typical wreck where they were a couple. It was more than 20. I would say, and they were flying, and then shortly after it was ambulances and fire trucks, and they were flying, and then it just kind of got silent. The silence after the fire trucks and everything was very eerie. It was like, you, I guess in instances, your stomach drops, because mm -hmm. you're like, somebody's life is changing. One teenager lost their life, and three others were involved in the crash. The teenager who was riding on the back of the motorcycle was taken to the hospital, but investigators say she is going to be okay. The two 16 year olds in the Jeep were not injured. Some people would like to see changes made to this intersection to make it safer. Sometimes when you roll up to the light coming toward Brentwood High School, um, when you stop right on the line, you can't actually see the light above you. So you have to look forward to see where the turn light is, and a lot of folks miss that. They've tried to do something to fix the problem, but probably the best solution would be to just move that white line back a little bit. Joy Bukovac, News 4 Nashville.